So I was at the dollar store the other day and uh, picking up some stuff. And I thought, you know, I'll do a little uh, show and tell of the sorts of things that, uh, that I have found there to be useful uh, in the workshop. Um, so um, my dollar store uh, nearby is Dollar Tree. Uh, they are not a sponsor. But, you know, if they want to sponsor me, give me, give me a call. Um, and so um, I've got a bunch of stuff um, that uh, you've probably seen me use um, throughout my workshop videos, and I just thought I'd uh, walk through them pretty quickly um, in no particular order. Um, now, a lot of these um, <clears throat> are about uh, organization, okay? And when I was teaching computing, I would hammer home to my students that organization shall set you free. And that's true for programming, it's true for web development, and it's true in the workshop. So um, anything you can do to help uh, keep you organized um, is really helpful. Okay? So a lot of these are, are aimed at that, and that's the sort of thing um, you can get there. So the first thing uh, I'm going to talk about are these toolboxes. Okay? So um, you know, they're, they're thin plastic little toolboxes. Okay? They're not... Um, I'm not, I'm not saying they're heavy duty and that you would um, use these um, you know, like you would a regular toolbox, but they are really handy for organizing um, groups of tools based on their functionality or, um, or just a case to put small tools in that might not have uh, come with a case. So, um, for example, over here... I have a stack of them. Okay. And I label them on the front and on the end so that I know what's in them. Okay, so these are all my um, wire crimpers and terminals. Okay, um, so those are all together. Um, this is a multimeter that has had no case, but um, that keeps it all um, together. Um, helping hands. Um, these are useful when you're working with um, electronics and small assemblies. So these all go together over here. Uh, over here, I have all the tools specific to my lathe. Okay, um, so they're all in one place. Um, and over here I have uh, uh, four more toolboxes with my label maker, my Allen wrenches and Torx keys, scrapers and putty knives, and uh, what I call bicycle wrenches, which are, um, well, These are all the little sort of multi-purpose wrenches that, uh, like this, came with a bicycle. That's why um, you you know that you can carry it with you. Um, so all of these sorts of uh, little wrenches and things that um, don't have a particular place to live normally. Well, now they've got a, a toolbox for them. So well worth a dollar. Okay. Uh, Similarly, other things um, I put in these bins, these stacking bins, okay, um, and um, so um, again, you know, I label them, so I have all my staplers, brad nail gun, Blue guns, okay, so uh, they're easily accessible, they're all contained, uh, and um, you know, these would not fit in the little toolbox, so, um, so those are handy for um, bigger groups of things, um, and so on. And what else do we have here? Uh, these. You've seen me use these uh, for painting. This is a, a paint kit, okay? Um, 
and you know at a dollar it's disposable. You don't have to bother cleaning up um, if you don't want to. And that's especially handy if you're using um, like oil-based paint. Okay. Um, so um, you got a little foam roller, a little brush, um, even a little um, glove and the roller tray. So, um, so yeah, very handy for um, for one-off projects where um, you don't want to um, be worried about cleaning up. You can just use it um, and toss it. Okay. Um, That's just a little light. Okay. Sometimes you need a little more light on the subject, or sometimes you want to build the light into something. Well, you, for a buck, you can hack this apart and um, and you build it into whatever you want. So, um, so that's handy. Um, or you could use it, you know, as a tool light. Okay. Paper towel holder, okay. Um, it's great to have a roll of paper towels sitting on your workbench. So, um, so that's uh, that's easy enough. Um, and then I have a bunch of trays, okay. So you've got this tray, um, good for containing um, um, what you're working on, especially um, uh, I use it for liquids. So you've seen me use this. Um, when I'm racking um, meat or wine um, to catch any spills, okay. So those are handy. Um, these little trays are great for just containing tools, okay. So they don't roll off the workbench um, when you're working on something. Um, these are uh, little toddler dishes, okay. Um, and so if you're working with a lot of small parts, disassembling something or uh, assembling something, um, these are just um, you know, really handy for um, organizing the little bits and pieces um, and uh, you don't have to worry about them you know, rolling off the table or um, getting uh, misplaced. And you can take your whole project and put it on a shelf um, for when you want to finish it. So those are those are very handy as well. Yeah, more um, organizers. Okay, this is um, you know for it, these are handy for little small screws. So if you've got a lot of little screws, you can put that in that section um, and organize them or uh, whatever. So uh, so that's handy. Uh, spray bottles, okay, if you want to spray something down with uh, water or alcohol or um, soapy water or rust remover, whatever, um, these, are, these are nice to have around the workshop. Squares, okay, um, you know, for a buck, um, it's, they've proven to be square, okay. Um, they've got um, uh, Imperial or Freedom units on one side, metric on the other, um, and uh, <clears throat> you know I have one uh, that I keep in this part of the workshop and one that I keep in the other room by my miter saw, um, and uh, they got a little hole for hanging them, um, and that's the balance point. Okay, so they hang nicely and. Uh, um, very useful in the workshop. Okay. And then um, glue. Okay. Uh, mostly um, cyanoacrylates, okay, or super glue. Okay. Um, I really like these little single use um, ones because I tend to not use a lot of cyanoacrylate. Sometimes you really need it. It's the right tool for the job. Um, but uh, you can, uh, you know, these are four for a dollar, so um, you can uh, pop one open, use it, and toss it. Um, because I'll be honest with you, most of the times when I open a bigger one, 
um, within you know I won't use it for a few weeks and it'll be um, it'll be dry and hardened um, so um, so that's um, that's uh, very handy to have keep yourself a stock of various glues this is um, epoxy okay so that's a two-part clear resin um, and um, the this is the gel so that's why I bought the bigger one because sometimes the gel um, is really helpful when you're gluing okay and then um, a freebie bonus okay um, these are the containers that mushrooms come in okay um, so you know a quick rinse when you cook your mushrooms, um, keep a bunch of those around. They're handy for little ad hoc painting trays and um, um, throw in some nuts and bolts in uh, temporarily or whatever. And they're disposable because, you, you know, they're, they were meant to be thrown away when you ate the mushrooms. So, um, so those are great. Um, and if you're like me, you're always cooking mushrooms. So you always got plenty of these around um, and uh, they're very handy and they don't cost anything.